Hi, I am Roxana from VP State and in this video I will show how to translate strings that cannot be found in translation file. To see more details on team included translation files, please check our video on how to translate your VP Rentals website with the included translation files and local translate plugin. I will start by showing the strings for demo homepage. I will start with menu elements. The elements need to be manually translated from admin, appearance, widgets. I will show an example. I will change the navigation label to something else. My site is currently translated to Spanish, so I will add something representative. The change will show front end on refresh. Next we have header section. In my page I have theme slider, which will show the properties details. So the property title will need to be changed, but I will show more on this later in this video. For image or video header, the strings will need to be translated from the backend of the page. You will need to edit the page, scroll down to appearance options. You will need to add the translation manually. The change will show after refresh. The next elements that will need to be manually translated are the search fields labels. You will need to translate them from team options, search, label on front end, the same will need to be done for health map fields. The same the changes will apply after refresh. Next we have page headings and subheadings. If the page was created with Elementor, then we need to edit the page with Elementor, edit the shortcut used and change words. The same will apply for subheadings. This is the change. For pages that were created with Bakery, you need to edit the page. and edit the bakery shortcut that was used to create the section. Here you can see the change. Next we have the footer widgets that can be amended from admin, appearance widgets, Actually, from this section, you can manage all widgets from sidebars and footer section. You can change text. Widget titles. The translations will show on refresh. These are the strings for home page. We will move forward to listing page. The first string that needs to be manually translated is the property title. You need to edit the listing and change title to your language. This also can be done from front end my listings edit property you can see that the change applied next the listing slug can be translated 
from team options general listing and owner links here you can add the slug in your language for the change to apply you might need to save permalinks again and make sure to clear cache you can see the change next the words for listing section like description price details address need to be manually translated in team options listing labels you can see that the new words apply next in listing details you will have custom fields that can be managed from team options general custom fields you need to translate the field label the translation will apply on refresh as well if you use before or after price labels they will need to be manually translated as well you need to edit the property go to price and change the label in your language the next section that will need manually translation is the features section you can find features and amenities in admin listings feature and amenities edit remove the slug add your word and save for the new fields to show in submission form and in property page you will need to select them from team options payments and submit you need to select the feature that was edited save from the same section listings you can also edit all property categories you just need to edit Add the word in your language, remove the slug and save. These are all the steps that you need to take to ensure that all the team labels will be translated into your language. I hope that you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our channel.